Is this dog grinning? They're called the smiling Sammies because their lips turn up and they actually look like they're smiling. These people-loving pooches are also called Samoyeds or Samoyeds. Or Sammies, Sams, or just plain smiley dogs. These are wonderful dogs. Companions to celebrities like Karen Carpenter and Helen Hunt, these powder puffs are known for their tendency not only to bark, but to sing. They have kind of a high-pitched You think they're trying to talk to you. This fluffy breed also carries the distinction of being most closely related to the primitive dog. No wolf or fox DNA runs in the Samoyed strain. And when it comes to doggy smell, you're in luck. They tend to be a dog that has very little odor. One of the 14 most ancient breeds, Samoyeds are members of the Spitz family of dogs and hail from Siberia, where the Samoyed people use them for sledding, herding reindeer, and warmth, but not just snuggling. When they shed, there's all this massive pounds of fur. So rather than waste it, the people took it and spun it into yarn and made clothes out of it. If you want to spot a Samoyed, there are a few telltale signs. Look for black lips curved upwards into that Sammy smile. Another curve to look for is on the Samoyed's heavily coated tail, which curls over and actually touches the dog's back when alert. And don't forget the Samoyed's double coat which is often white, but also comes in biscuit, white and biscuit, and cream. And their outer coat, it stands straight out. No wavy hair here. Is that gonna be a blanket? Is that gonna be a blanket? Like all Samoyeds, seven-year-old Bon Bon sports a dense covering of luxurious fur. But unlike all Samoyeds, her sheddings aren't vacuumed away. Samoyed hair makes absolutely beautiful yarn. I've been saving a lot of Bon Bon's hair lately and have not been spinning it because my desire is to have a beautiful blanket for my living room. Visit Victoria Pettigrew's living room outside of Dallas and you won't just find her spinning her smiling Sammy's fur into yarn. You'll find a whole business dedicated to turning pet hair into keepsakes. VIP Fiber spins memories for people, not just yarn. Her company creates yarn and custom-made garments or tokens out of animal hair. Bon Bon serves as Victoria's muse. Her fur is spun into items like shawls and mittens. The idea for the spinnery was born out of the loss of Carly, Victoria's beloved Lhasa Apso. When she passed away, I missed her so much that after I had spun her hair, it felt like she was back with me again. Lisa Hawes is hoping the same will be true for her after the death of her dog, Bernie. He means the world to me and always will, and this gives me a little bit of him to have forever. Look at that! To turn any animal's coat into yarn or anything else, a thorough brushing is the first step. Victoria uses a flea comb to remove Bon Bon's soft and loose undercoat. It's a lengthy process this ball of fluff absolutely adores, just like any Sammy would. Once the fur is gathered, you can find Bon Bon hanging out by the carding machine, which lines all the fibers in the same direction. This docile dog is not one to disturb others' work. While Victoria spins the fiber, Bon Bon takes in the action, just like she does when it's later plied and turned into a skein. And what about doggy dander? Can you really wash it out? Apparently, yes. Victoria has patented her own system. We have developed the process of washing it that removes the enzymes that causes those odors and allergies. The fiber is then wrung out, hung in a closet to dry, then reskained. Some customers might have their pet fur woven into a scarf like this one, but the possibilities are endless. Still blowing her coat. Look yeah. at that. When her co-workers take a break, Bon Bon is always right there, soaking up the attention of her spinnery pals. Yeah. Her coat is definitely something special, but all this powder puff cares about is that her mom loves her for who she is. Do I get kiss? Wow. wow. Thank that you. Samoyeds are easygoing pets that can live in apartments if they're given a good amount of daily exercise. Just be careful if you live in a warmer climate, these dogs can overheat. These sociable canines usually live for 12 to 15 years, but they are predisposed to certain health problems. 
diabetes, hypothyroidism, hip dysplasia, and kidney disease. In the grooming department, take heed. Samoyeds are heavy shedders that require brush every single day if you want to keep the fur outside of your house. Early obedience training is necessary to avoid behavior problems, but this medium-sized working dog responds nicely to a firm and patient hand. In a family, the Samoyed is a good fit because this pretty pooch loves everyone. So in general, Samoyeds are adaptable dogs that need a good amount of exercise and air conditioning in warm weather. Their health is about average, but their grooming requirements are great. Early training is essential because they can be stubborn. But these smiling dogs are so people-oriented that they fit into most any kind of family. Looking for a dog with looks, energy, personality, and lots of heart? Choose a Samoyed, and you'll find yourself smiling as much as your dog. You're a good girl.